At the turn of the 20th century, it wasn't strange for psychics to claim they could read you like an open book. Today, I'm here with Nathan, and he's going to demonstrate for us just such a feat. Hi, Nathan. Hi, Rebecca. Where do we start? To celebrate the works of Arthur Conan Doyle, why don't we choose from his collection? Did you know he wrote 84 books in total? That's a lot of books. Let's get to work. Can you just put that on top? Nope, it's not gonna happen. We need to shuffle them anyway, so. Shuffle? That's one way to do it. I'm Rebecca Lydiard. Oh my god! I play Constable Adelaide Stratton on the television series Houdini and Doyle. Join me as we explore Houdini and Doyle's world of wonders. That's a lot of books. Doyle was most famous for his stories about Sherlock Holmes. But Doyle wrote so much more. Science fiction, historical novels. Doyle was also interested in psychic phenomena. These themes show up in his stories as well, like in this one, playing with fire and other stories. Maybe we shouldn't use that one. Today it's fun to be fooled, but back in the days of Houdini and Doyle, people believed in spiritualism. For example, there's this age-old trick that goes back centuries, and I can still do it today to make you believe that I can read your mind. But first, we need to pick a book. Okay. I'll, I'll grab some books here. All right. And we'll just, uh, I'll just drop them on the floor. Whenever you want, just say stop. Stop! Ooh, right there. Okay. Perfect. So what we'll do is I will just kind of flip through the pages here, mm -hmm. Rebecca. Whenever you want, just stop me as I go through. Stop. Right there. Can yeah. you remember the first word? Can you see it okay? Yep. Just keep it in your head. Mm -hmm. Don't show me, don't tell me. You hold the book. I'm gonna have you write it down, but don't let me see. And just let me know when you're ready. I won't look. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Just keep the word in your mind. Okay, I think I've got it. Okay, you can show your paper to the camera. Let's see how we did. Arabia? Yeah! What are the chances? Wow, that's very good. How did you do that? What if I told you that there's no way you had a choice? You were actually psychically influenced to pick that word the entire time. Wouldn't it be weird if I could say I knew before you even walked in here? You probably didn't notice, but behind you is a subtle cue, a subliminal cue. Look at these encyclopedias. Oh, or it says Arabia here! Spelled out. That is very good. You are a very talented man. Thank you. I've been practicing. 